Hey everybody, it's Road Dog, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these braided slings that has a woven pouch and a whip cracker at the end. So we're going to start off with two lengths of paracord that are about three times the length that we want our sling to be from the finger loops to the knot at the end. I'm making a sling that's going to be 64 inches long, so I'm going to be cutting around 200 inches of this black paracord and this camo paracord. Alright, so I've cut out my two lengths now, and what you're going to do is fold the two of them in half um, so that you have these two loops at the end, and these are going to be your finger loops. And then to help us tie our knot, we're going to put a piece of duct tape around where you want the bottom of your finger loops to be. So you want the bottom of the duct tape to be at the spot where you want the, the top of the knot to be. Okay, so now the knot we're going to tie to bring all these uh, cords together is a Matthew Walker knot. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video about how to do one because there's there's much better tutorials than, than I can make on how to to tie this knot. There There is a substitute knot you can use and it's just an overhand uh, granny knot, some people call it. Um, but that that's a little bit less decorative and uh, and I, I think it might um, not hold as tightly as a Matthew Walker knot. Alright, so I've got my Matthew Walker knot tied here now. And next up, we're going to start up the four strand braid. There's lots of substitute knots that you can use instead of a Matthew Walker. Um, this is just the one that I think looks nicest. Alright, so next up we're going to start the four strand braid. Uh, I've gone ahead and hooked up my loops around a, uh, a vise here. And basically the pattern for this braid is you're going to take the outside strand on this side, put it underneath the middle two, and then you're going to put it in the middle of those two, and then pull it tight. And then you're going to bring the outside strand on this side and bring it around the middle two again, but this time the other direction. And then put it in between those two strands of paracord. And then pull it tight once again. And then we're going to go back to this side and then bring this strand of paracord once again around the back of the middle two, up between these two strands, and then back through the middle of the two strands that you just went underneath. So you're just going to keep repeating this going from side to side. So we've got our braid looking pretty good here, and I've uh, duct taped it at the bottom here just to hold it in place, and um, I'm going to add in two more strings into this four strand braid. So it's still going to be the same braiding pattern, it's just two of the strands are going to be double. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, duct tape these two on to this strand here to add them in. And that's just going to be to hold them into place while we're braiding them in. And then later on, we're going to burn them in to melt them into the, into the cord. Alright, so I have the two black strands here doubled up. And then paired with them, I have uh, one camo strand on each side. So once again, we're just continuing that four strand braid, except these two black strands are doubled up. And this, this is going to go for just uh, three more inches until we start the pouch. Alright, so I've finished my cord. You can see down here where I've added in 
the two extra strands three inches from the bottom where I've duct taped it. And now to end the braid, we are going to do a six strand Matthew Walker knot. Um, once again, you can use any knot that you would like to bring these six strands together. I've, I've just chosen the Matthew Walker because I like it. So now you can see we have loosely woven the start of our pouch to, to sort of fuse the two sides together. And uh, now we can go ahead and tighten this up and we'll separate out these four strands and start weaving either side of our pouch. All right, so I've gone ahead and tightened up the start of our uh, pouch over here. And now it's time to separate out the four inner strands into two groups and just do a double strand weave on either side. So that's going to be taking the strand that we're weaving with, putting it under, up the middle, and then over the middle strand, and then back down. through the middle, and under, over, under, and over, and then you're just going to keep on doing this until you have the pouch size that you want. I'll, I'll usually make my pouches about six inches long, five or six inches. Okay, so now I have one side of the pouch weaved from our little starting part there. And now it's time to do the same on the other side. So, that's just going to... I mean, taking the cord we were braiding with and bringing it over the top cord, so the camo one, and then under the black one. So under the black one again, and over the top cord, and back through the middle. And under, over, and under, over. So it looks kind of messy like that, but after you tighten it up, it, it cleans up. Um, so I just gotta braid the rest of this now, or we've we've. Okay, so now I've got both sides weaved here and uh, what we're going to do now is use the same trick that we used on this side and fuse together the two sides of the pouch. So we're going to take these two middle black strands and then on either side we're going to do three stitches where we include both strands, both black strands in the middle weave here. So we're going to go on the bottom one around both middle black strands and then back down and over the camo one and then we're going to do the same thing with the other one so we're going to go over top and weave down and between these two black strands here and then bring it back up through the camel one. And then we're going to do that two more times uh, to finish off the pouch.
All right, so I've uh, gone and tied the Matthew Walker knot on the other side here. Um, so yeah, our, our sling is starting to look a lot more like a sling. And if you've made it this far, the hard part's now over. It's, it's gonna be smooth sailing from now on. Um, so what we have to do now is we're gonna continue the four strand braid, just like we did on this side where we have six strands involved, but we're doing a two strand pattern by doubling up two of the strands. Okay, so now that we have braided about three inches or so with uh, all six strands, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, braid out two of the strands. So. You're, you're just going to continue on the four strand braid with four of the strings and just forget about two of them. Just braid around them and uh, leave them behind. Alright, so now I have finished the braid on the second half of the sling. Um, this side, it's a little bit shorter than the other side because on a on this side where we're releasing it, you're gonna leave a little space here and that's where your fingers are gonna hold. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna tie one Matthew Walker knot and then a second one and leave the empty space in the middle. So that's gonna be one Matthew Walker knot there and then a little empty space and then we're gonna put one Matthew Walker knot there and then that's gonna be pretty much all of the sling. Alright, so I've tied one Matthew Walker knot here, which ends our braid, and then um, I've marked with duct tape here where I'm going to tie the next knot, um, which is going to be the knot that we actually hold while we're slinging. Alright, so I have the second Matthew Walker knot done, um, and that almost completes our sling. You can see it's almost done here. Um, so now what we're going to do is uh, cut down all of this extra string here, except you're going to want to leave one piece that's about maybe 8 inches long, and uh, you're going to use that to make your whip cracker. Okay, so I've trimmed uh, three of these cords back. And I've left one long, and I just tied a granny knot on it right there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to strip the outside of this paracord down to expose the inside of it. And this is what we're going to be making the cracker out of. Alright, so I've exposed the inside of the paracord, and now I'm going to divide it into three groups, all of these strands, um, and then I'm going to do a three strand braid all the way to the tip. Alright, so that's what it should look like at the end. Um, I'm just gonna trim off the ends of this here. And then as uh, as these ends start to fray more, it'll it'll make more of a pop if you really flick your wrist when you throw. And now I just gotta cut these parts where we braided the extra strands in.
and then we're gonna melt the hair cord. And this will keep these braided in strands from going anywhere. And that's pretty much the sling here. Um, next up, I'm just gonna Next up, I'm just gonna show you how to make these finger grips here, which make it a, a little bit more comfortable to sling with. All right, so there we have our finger pads and uh, all I really gotta do now is just trim off these extra things here. Just give it one last tight them. Snip off the extra pieces. And uh, there you have it. Sling is all done. So I hope you guys have fun slinging, be safe, have fun, and thanks for watching. I, I really appreciate all the support in the videos you guys have been giving me, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment, and I'll uh, definitely respond. See you.